okay guys so um before anything i always prime my face so then i just start to include this now i'm going to pick my yoshi cosmetics brow pencils i've been wanting to try these for a long time but i never got to so i'm brushing my brows up i don't get anywhere i trim my brows just so you know i just do them myself at home i just try not to make them show whenever i draw my brows so yeah now I did try to define where I wanted my brows to start from the bottom and now I'm just stroking some extra, you know, hairs that I don't have just to make my brows look a little bit thicker. So after I'm done brushing those false hairs into it, just to let my brows look thick, I brush them up and out to fade the color a little bit more. So now the secret everyone's been waiting for it is got to be glued people ask me how my brows look like this and uh, frankly it is the glue that makes my eyebrows look like they are you know spaced out and all natural looking this is what works in this video i think i used a little bit too much than usual but this is what i do and what i do is i take the spoolie the tip of it and then carve out the top part of the brows see like what i'm doing right now and yeah that's about it and then the next thing i do is i carve it i carve the bottom with concealer the same concealer I'm going to use to, you know, get my eyeshadows, you know, popping. So that is it. This is what I do to my brows. It's really, really simple and quick. Faster than what I used to do before taking my time. It took forever to do my brows anyway. This is quicker and faster, but I need to always try to define it first. And yeah, that is it also i'm going to post the full look i don't know whether before or after this brow tutorial whichever it is you will see the full look soon i'm so excited because this is when i actually got it right <laughs> okay guys so let me know what your technique is in the comment section below and give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye